Dear President Maya Sandu, Excellency, it's an honor and a pleasure to receive you here in Portugal. It had been fixed a long time ago, but happily it happens today and tomorrow. So we feel at home when we think of your country, and we know that uh, your people living here, so many thousands of people, around 30,000 people, or even more than that, living here for so many years, feel at home in Portugal. We owe them so much, not only a part of our growth, of our fairness, of our social justice, in these last 14 years, or 15 years, or almost 20 years. And when we think of your population, the community we have here means almost 1% or even more of your population. It's really very impressive. Thank you. Then I would like to praise your courage and determination in a situation that is a very difficult one in your region. You are nearby the war. And you know that the outcome of the war is decisive for all of us, for the world, for Europe, but very especially for you, for your people, for your state. So that's why, ever since the beginning, uh, and also for the values that were violated, we supported the Ukrainian people and the Ukrainian resilience against Russian Federation invasion. It was a violation of the Charter of the United Nations, of international law, of sovereignty, of territorial integrity, of so many values. But was and is something that challenges the free world and challenges uh, democracy and challenges liberty and freedom. And that's why Portugal bilaterally and the European Union as a whole are supporting Ukraine, both politically, diplomatically, humanitarianly, with more than 70,000, 80,000 Ukrainians, uh, adding to those that were already living in Portugal, coming to our country, but also military speaking. We spoke today of uh, the situation in that region and how we do think it's uh, so important to have uh, a victory of uh, the universal values, a victory of the Ukrainian people, a victory of the Ukrainian state. But we also spoke of the future and spoke of Moldova, the Moldovan people, the way you Madam President, and dear President, and the government, and the people are creating social and economic conditions, thinking of the future, in infrastructures, in public work, in energetic sector, uh, in the digital sector, in, but also on education, on social solidarity, on health care. That's very important for societies. And that's why we do understand how important it is for you to join the European Union. Not just for political or geostrategical reasons, but for the happiness of your people for economic development, for social development, 
that are preconditions for freedom and democracy. Portugal supports this dream of yours and is aware that the uh, European Union probably in the next few months will take just one decision, but it's a vital decision, on the beginning of a procedure. And you do accept that during that procedure that the candidates will be analyzed one by one, taking in account their merits, what they are doing in their internal life, politically, economically, socially, culturally. You can count on Portugal thinking of that first step. Bilaterally, we must deepen our relations. Education, relations between universities and schools, social institutions, but also public work, infrastructures, business. That's why we shall attend tomorrow the forum on that subject, together with the government, with Mr. Secretary of State uh, for internationalization. Finally, I'm very much honored by your invitation to visit Moldova. And as we must hurry up to recover the time we lost in the past, if you really do agree, I would very much like to go to your country this very same month or the beginning of next month, not stopping what has begun. Thank you for your presence. If you allow me, I'll say in two paragraphs in Portuguese what I just said. Queria uh, agradecer a presença da Sra. Presidente Maia Sandu, louvar a coragem e determinação do seu povo e do seu Estado na posição difícil da região em que se encontra, agradecer o papel da comunidade Moldova em Portugal, mais de 30 mil, mais de 1% da população do Estado, integrados, em alguns casos, entre 15 e 20 anos, e um exemplo notável de integração e de participação na criação de crescimento e de justiça em Portugal. Ambos apoiamos, obviamente, a Ucrânia na luta por valores que nos são comuns, em todos os domínios, Portugal apoia a pretensão da Moldova de poder, respeitando o juízo de mérito de cada uma das candidaturas, aceder à União Europeia. É um sonho e uma intenção política, mas também económica e social. Finalmente. Fiquei muito reconhecido pelo convite da Sra. Presidente para visitar a Moldova e agradeci e a intenção é de que esta visita ocorra ainda este mês, nos últimos dias do mês ou nos primeiros dias do mês de novembro. Muito obrigado. Thank you.